Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks wavered Tuesday and the Dow fell, reversing earlier gains after the January Consumer Price Index report showed that inflation grew at a higher than expected 6.4% annual rate. However, the CPI figure showed that it edged slightly lower from the 6.5% figure shown in December. That marked the seventh straight month of easing inflation since peaking at 9.1% in June. The strong inflation report is likely to keep Federal Reserve officials on track to raise interest rates at their meeting in March, and further slight increases will likely be after that. Beyond the CPI, investors will also be watching earnings for insights into the health of the consumer. Overall, the Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped 0.46%, the S&P 500 fell 0.03%, the Nasdaq Composite recouped losses to trade 0.57% higher, boosted by technology stocks including Tesla and NVIDIA, which rose more than 7% and 5% respectively. The US is now seeking trade agreements with Japan and the UK to secure critical minerals and reduce their dependence on China. These deals are, part, are a part of President Biden's efforts to shift global supply chains, hedging against disruptions that would impact supply chains or create scarcities which may starve US or other friendly producers. The agreements may also provide incentives for the promotion of new electric vehicles. And in relation to EVs, Forward is set, set to cut 3,800 product development and administration jobs in Europe over the next three years. The company attributed the layoffs to the transition to a leaner structure as it focuses on producing electric vehicles. Forward states that the overhaul will not impact the company's aim to offer an all-electric fleet by 2035 and expects production of its first European-built electric passenger vehicle to begin later this year. Overnight, the S&P 500 sectors were choppy, consumer discretionary was the best performer, whilst real estate was the biggest laggard. The auto sector and semiconductors performed well, while insurance, regional banks and credit cards were weaker. And global fund managers are increasingly worried about the sustainability of the rally in Chinese equities, with one in five considering it the market's most crowded trade. Although global fund managers' allocation to emerging market equities, including China, have risen for three months in a row, there are concerns about the fast-growing popularity of Chinese stocks, indicating that momentum could fade. The SPY futures are flat. Thank you for listening.